It's official for the low income, as we just got the announcement a short time ago, and this is some good news, so let's get into it and discuss what's going on. All right, now, just a short time ago, we got a very important announcement out of the Secretary of the Health and Human Services. Now, we've been waiting for this announcement for a very long time now, and they just gave it to us literally at the very last minute. Well, that's what I want to discuss in more detail for you right here in this video and describe why this is such a good announcement for the low income. So let's get into it and discuss all the details. However, really fast before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video as it's totally free to do so. And because I am your one and only daily advocate, I'm here for you right by your side each and every day watching all these new announcements as they're hitting the wire, doing the research and breaking it all down into these short videos so you can stay updated with what's actually going on and most importantly, how it's going to impact you, your money, your benefits, your lifestyle, your bank account, and of course, anything showing up right now, you can possibly grab and or take advantage of as a low income or fixed income beneficiary. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. And also remember, I'm here for you in any way that I can be. That's my dedication. That's my commitment. And as always, that is my promise to you and everybody right here in the community. All right. Thanks again. Let's get into it and talk about what they just announced and what it means for millions upon millions of low income and fixed income beneficiaries. All right. So today is literally the very last day. Now, I called this a long time ago. I said they're going to wait until the very last minute. Sure enough, literally today is the last day. In fact, tonight at midnight, it would have been expiring. I'm talking about the public health emergency declaration. Literally, they waited until the very last day. So in just a matter of hours from now, it would have been expiring. However, we just got the announcement out of HHS, the Secretary of Health and Human Services. Now, what does this mean? Well, basically, the Secretary came out and extended out the public health emergency yet again out until mid-April. Okay, so now what does this mean? And what does it mean for the low income and fixed income? Here's what it all means. I've talked about this a few times in dedicated videos. And again, I want to make this very clear because this is a big, big deal. Now, we might be looking at this situation thinking, okay, the public health emergency declaration, I don't know what that means. I don't know what it means for me. Well, let me tell you this much. Remember those extra SNAP benefits or the bonus SNAP benefits that we've been talking about for several months now, as in for those individuals and those households that are getting the maximum household benefit of, you know, whatever it is for your household size, you're getting the extra $95 per month for about 25 or 26 states right now. Remember that? Well, because of the public health emergency declaration being in place, that is the reason they can send that out. When this does expire or when it does end, that extra $95 uh, on top of your maximum benefit or boosting you up to the maximum benefit will no longer be a thing, okay? So that's huge, right? In fact, I've seen comments down below many times from many of you here in the community saying, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm barely getting by right now on the SNAP benefits or I'm not even getting by right now. I don't know what they're going to do when they take the extra 95 away or they reduce my benefit back down to what it normally was prior to this extra 95 coming in. So that's a big deal. Okay. So that's one reason why. Next, as I've talked about previously in a video, maybe, I don't know, maybe a week, week and a half or so ago, I was out in a separate video talking about Medicaid specifically. In fact, there's a hundred million people enrolled in Medicaid. So right now in the United States, there's about 333 million people as the population, okay? So almost one in three people are enrolled in Medicaid. Remember, I also said in that video, about 21 million people that are enrolled in Medicaid are technically not even eligible. The reason for that is, is because they know that because of the public health emergency declaration being in place, they pretty much can't go through and purge the rolls. In other words, they, they, they the states cannot... Uh, unenroll people as of right now because of this being in place. However, as soon as that expires, they're anticipating about 15 plus million people losing Medicaid pretty much immediately. Okay. <laughs> That's a pretty big deal. Okay. So again, these are some big, big numbers that we're talking about right here, which by the way, Going back to the SNAP benefits for a second, Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, otherwise known as food stamps, food assistance, whatever we call it, it's all essentially the same thing. There's about, uh, like I said, uh, there's about 21, uh, sorry, 25 different states right now that are actually sending out the extra SNAP benefits, okay? 
Well, remember, across the entire country, there's about 41 to 43 million beneficiaries of SNAP, okay? If we're talking about half the states that are enrolled, we're talking about potentially about 20 million people that are getting extra SNAP benefits right now. And that's gonna go away when the extra um, allotment is no longer eligible because of the public health emergency declaration. However, like I've been talking about for a while now, it was set to expire at literally the end of today. But we just got the announcement. They came in and said, well, because of the COVID situation and because of everything else going on right now, they're going to extend it out yet again until mid-April. Okay. So they basically pushed the goalpost out one more time out until mid-April, another 90-day extension. Now, again, I don't know if it's going to expire at that time. Maybe they push it out again at that point. Again, I'm going to go out on a limb right now and I'm going to throw out there. I'm going to throw this prediction out there right now. I would be willing to say that in April, when it rolls around again, they will extend it. Now, again, is that a promise? No, I'm not going to promise anything. Is it a guarantee? No, I don't know what they're going to do. However, based on their track record, based on what I've been witnessing here literally over the last, what, three years now that we've been doing this, they continue to do this. So I would not be shocked one bit. In fact, I'm predicting that they will extend it out yet again in April, even though we continue to see the report saying, this is it. This is the last extension. Yeah, we've heard that before, right? So we'll see when the time comes. And like you can see right here in this video and what they literally just did like two, three hours ago by extending this out. They just extended this out. So well, uh, with this announcement, they waited until the very last minute. So I would not be shocked yet again if they wait until the very last minute to actually extend this out in, in April. However, one more side note, they've continued to tell us they will give us a 60 day notice before they actually allow this to expire. That means we need the notice in 30 days from right now. If we do not get that uh, 60 day notice in 30 days from right now, which again, a 90 day uh, extension, uh, 30 days out from now, they give it, need to give us the, the 60 day notice. If they do not give us that 60 day notice, I'm gonna say the probability of it being extended out yet again is like as close to 100% as possible, okay? But again, we have nine, uh, sorry, we have 30 days from right now to wait for that official announcement to see, will it actually be expiring or will they cancel it? If we do not get that announcement in about 30 days from now, I'm gonna say, they'll for sure extend it out again again. But again, between now and the next 30 days, we'll be waiting for some kind of announcement. If we don't get it, that's good news, okay? Well, for the fixed income beneficiaries and the low income, especially those people that are enrolled in Medicaid, and again, for those people that are getting the extra SNAP benefits, it's good, right? So either way, I wanted to bring you this announcement. I've been watching for this one closely. I'm not surprised one bit that they waited literally about 12 hours before the official expiration to announce this. <laughs> I'm not surprised one bit. So it's just like the, you know, par for the course, as we'd all say, right? They waited until the last minute. Did they not know for the last, I don't know, two months that they were going to extend it? They knew. Why didn't they just say it earlier? I don't know. You know what I mean? So anyway, I want to bring you the details on this. So when it comes down to those extra SNAP benefits, looks like we're in the clear here. They're likely going to continue going out for the next couple months, but... I want to be totally clear about this. We don't know for sure. That list of different states that comes out every month is usually updated. Some states are added. Some states are reduced. So I just want to let you know that list is changing every single month. Of course, as I get the next list coming out here in about, what's the date? Um, maybe in like two weeks from now, I'll get the next list. As soon as I get that next one for February, of course, I'll bring that to your attention right away. And then, of course, it usually does update again at some point, maybe, you know, a few days within the month. So I'll bring that to you right away to, set, to let you know who will be getting the extra SNAP benefits as of February. Anyway, some good news today. Finally, um, a little bit of something. At least it's something right now because what are they doing otherwise? The answer is virtually nothing, okay? Anyway, at least it's something here. I will continue to keep you posted. I'll continue watching all these updates as they're coming out. And of course, bringing it to you right here in these short videos. But at least it's something for now. And hopefully, uh, you know, they'll continue working on more. But anyway, I'll keep you posted. Please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. So you don't miss any videos going forward. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other thousands upon thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, enjoy your day. And I'll catch you again later in the next video.